Good afternoon, good evening students. I hope you are doing good. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're back with another lecture concerning the American civilization during the 20th century. We've already seen the Roaring Twenties, the stock market crash of 1929 and the Great Depression, the government response to face the Great Depression, and during the last video we dealt with the agricultural challenges and the effects or the consequences of the Great Depression. Today's video, we are going to talk about um, the New Deal and Franklin Delano Roosevelt's reforms. When I say the New Deal, it means the first and the second New Deal. But before we start directly in the New Deal, the, the acts and reforms, we shall speak about um, the changes first. Right before I start, um, I invite you to like the Facebook page of this channel in order to be notified whenever I post something new and also subscribe to my channel if it's not already done that would encourage me to do more and also help you out during the period of exams without any further ado we shall start with the New Deal so during the Roaring Twenties and the Great Depression even when the Great Depression reached its higher peak um, USA or the United States of America was governed by the Republican Party and many people, many Americans and historians um, believe that the Great Depression or Great Depression itself was a result of the Republican rule. Then we had the election of 1932, right? There was a say, right? People used to say, uh, in Hoover we trusted, now we are busted. Words that went around for a long time by Americans especially when the Great Depression reached its higher peak, like I said. There was a shift of power. Um, the power shifted from the Republican Party to the Democratic Party. There was a new president, the 32nd president of the United States of America, named Franklin Delano Roosevelt. He was born on January 13, 1882. Hyde Park, New York, United States of America. He is, like I said, the 32nd President of the United States of America. He governed the U uh, USA between 1933 and 1945. Roosevelt also led the United States through two of the greatest crises of the 20th century, the Great Depression and the Second World War. We have a series of programs and reforms known as the New Deal, uh, which were achieved by Franklin Delano Roosevelt, of course, uh, this gave a great power to the federal government. And young Roosevelt, if I may say, when he was uh, a child, he was educated privately at home until age of 14. Which means he didn't go to school directly like other um, children. He was homeschooled. But when he reached the age of 14, he entered Groton Preparatory School in Groton, Massachusetts. He's the one who said that this great nation uh, this, by the way, was taken from his inaugural uh, speech. He said that this great nation will endure as it has endured, um, will revive and prosper. The only thing we have to fear is fear itself. This is after he won the elections of 1932. Uh, these are words that showed his confidence to millions of Americans. Then we have what we call the 100 Days which is basically the first phase of the New Deal. It consists in measures which should be taken in order to overcome the Great Depression. And at the end, um, the afternoon of April 12th, uh, while sitting for a portrait, he um, suffered a massive cerebral hemorrhage, and he died a few hours later in Warm Springs, Georgia, because he was too, too sick. Let's go back. These are generally um, some information about the 32nd President of the United States of America. Because everything we're going to see about the acts, the reforms, he's the one who brought these ideas. His administration uh, was the one to initiate these uh, reforms. So let's go back to the election of 1932. Like I said, people used to say, the American people, of course, in Hoover we trusted, now we are busted. Uh, Hoover, um, Herbert Hoover was the previous Republican uh, President of the United States of America, and many people believe that he is the one, or he is the cause of the Great Depression. 
and he was not able to um, face or overcome the Great Depression. So like I said, uh, in Hoover we trusted, now we are busted. Words that went around for a long time by the Americans, especially when the Great Depression reached its higher peak. Both Roosevelt and Herbert Hoover made public speeches to support their campaign to convince the American people. Hoover, on one hand, defended his term mandate with emergency measures taken by his government like the Agricultural Marketing Act and the Holy Smooth Tariff, which were supposed to make things better in America, both economically and socially speaking. And um, by the way, um, the Agricultural Marketing Act uh, and the Holy Smooth Tariff, I have explained them in the previous video. Um, then on the other hand, we have Roosevelt. Uh, he um, denounced Hoover's policies and his inability to recover from the Great Depression. He also gave general points about the New Deal and his plan in his inaugural speech. He wanted to bring back optimism and confidence to the Americans. right? And later on, Franklin Delano Roosevelt won the elections of 1932 and he became the 32nd President of the United States of America. right? Now, what do we mean by the New Deal? You see, the New Deal is a pro program of the administration of the United States President Franklin D. Roosevelt between 1933 and roughly 1939, which aimed for an economic relief and reforms in different fields. That is to say, industry, agriculture, finance, water power, labor, and housing. The term started to spread um, after the inaugural speech of Roosevelt because he first brought up um, this word of the New Deal when he was elected uh, as the 32nd President of the United States of America. So in his inaugural speech, he started to speak about his plans and his New Deal. So the term started to spread after, his, uh, after the inaugural speech of Roosevelt, who gave some important points about the New Deal as well as pointing out to the fact that the previous administration of the previous president Herbert Hoover, the Republican Herbert Hoover, was unable to face the Great Depression. And later on, the New Deal was adopted during the first three months of Roosevelt's presidency, which is also known under the name of the Hundred Days. And the Hundred Days is the first phase of the New Deal, like I said, which consists of measures that should be taken to recover the American economy, to make life easier to the millions of poor and unemployed, and to reform aspects of the economy that Roosevelt believed had caused the collapse. Right? Therefore, many acts and reforms were passed, such as Emergency Bank and Relief Act, right? the EBRA, uh, we have the Civilian Conservation Corps, the CCC, or the National Industrial Recovery Act, right? And it was from 9th of March to 16th of June 1933 that different series of acts of the New Deal were adopted by the government of Roosevelt. So they started planning it, then they started adopting the plan. They started achieving or passing some laws, acts, and making some reforms. Uh, of course, this wasn't randomly taken into consideration. It's not just Roosevelt, the President of the United States of America, said we're going to do this, so the government has to say yes, no. Um, uh, this was um, done after consulting experts in economy and social matters as well. And uh, the main policy of the New Deal was meant first to help um, and assist Americans by providing them with relief, right, to make things bearable, and uh, to provide the Americans jobs, loans, and money, right? Recover the American industry, labor, business, and agriculture, and reform of the banking system to ensure an economic and social stability. This is very important, right? Um, but one should make the difference between the first New Deal and the second New Deal. The first New Deal includes all the reforms, acts, made during the first hundred days. The more concerned, first with the concept of relief, uh, second recovery of agriculture or farming, 
and industry also, business, and of course uh, the reform of the banking system. Among the acts, we have Emergency Banking Act, 1933 Banking Act, Federal Emergency Relief Administration, right? And we have other acts that we are going to explain uh, randomly later on. We have the Second New Deal, which was more, um, not my words, uh, it was more liberal, right? It, it concerned more the Relief Act by helping persons in need, the poor and the uh, unemployed generally. And among the acts, we have National Labor Relations Act, we have Works Progress Administration, we have Social Security Act, and other acts, of course. As you can see, the following acts were among the most important reforms and measures passed or adopted by the Roosevelt administration during the first and the second New Deal. The first one is the Civilian Conservation Corps, or the CCC. Um, it means money was provided to the unemployed to give assistance as well as jobs and loans. It provided, for example, jobs in the field of reforestation, which means uh, generally it was the youth, right? Young people were um, encouraged to plant trees and they were paid for that. And we had also soil conservation, road constructions, and flood control. It is said that the CCC, or the Civilian Conservation Corps, helped more than 2.5 million of unemployed to find jobs. And then we have the Federal Emergency um, Relief Administration. It was used in order to help the states and the local governments with the needed funds for the relief measures. That is to say, they granted funds to state relief agencies. In each state, we have, for example, agencies or relief agencies. They give money to help citizens. And then we have the CWA, the, um, the Civil Work Administration. The purpose of its creation was to provide work for millions of Americans, including women, in road repair and park improvements. Now we move to the field of agriculture and farming. We have the AAA, or the Agricultural Adjustment Administration, with a purpose of assisting agriculture and help the farmers after the natural disaster of the dust bowl. I have already explained this natural disaster in the previous video. Roosevelt asked the farmers to reduce their goods, right, so as to avoid an overproduction and receive payment benefits. This act helped to stabilize um, the farm prices and established a new role for the federal government in planning and controlling agriculture. And we have the TVA, the, um, the Tennessee Valley Authority. It is um, an independent public corporation and an agency which aimed to build dams, power plants, and brought cheap electricity to make life uh, better and easier, right? Not only cheap electricity, but also hydroelectric power for thousands of Americans in the southern states. And then we move to the field of industry, business, and labor. We have the NIRA. It was made to help business to revive and stimulate industry and manufacturing by establishing new laws and planning that um, would rule the American industry. It's no longer the laissez-faire policy of the Republicans. Now it's every, everything is planned by the federal government. Um, so these laws uh, and plannings that would uh, rule the American industry, business and labor with the cooperation of the federal government, like I said, these new laws include Fair codes of competition among factories give minimum wages and provide to workers fair hours of working. The right for workers to create and join trade unions. Right? Then we move to the reforms in um, of the banking system, if you want. We have the FSA, the Federal Security Act. This gave the executive branch of the government the full authority to regulate and control the stocks. 
This was for a specific reason. It was to prevent any future speculation to avoid another economic collapse of the stock market. Right? Then we have the Glass-Steagall Act. Under this act, there was a separation between commercial banking and investment banking, which gave birth later to the Federal Deposit Insurance Corporation under the uh, name of F. DIC, through which the government could control the deposit insurance and protect the, um, the depositors' uh, funds. Then we have uh, the Home Owners Loan Corporation, or the HOLC, and the Farm Credit Administration, the FCA, created respectively for helping homeowners to make um, mortgages payments. Uh, in order not to lose their homes, right? And assist farmers through supplying them with loans and credits. So anyways, these are some of the acts and reforms. Of course, you might find others. Um, if you have any question, feel free to ask them in the comments below or message me on the Facebook page of this channel. You will find everything in the description below. Um, otherwise, I tell you, see you in the next video. Peace.